Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, you already shown, uh, I seen that um, we talk about that, how we can create that catalog item, right? So let me open that request once more time. So remember that in that uh, request, um, we had a RITM and that item is group access. So now we will talk about that workflow, how the flow will be de uh, derived. Either we can define the workflow or we can define the flow designer based on your choice. Flow designer is the new topics everyone try to implement, but workflow is a more mature and old um, product which is service norm mature product. You can use the workflow or flow designer as per your requirement. I'll show you that um, uh, workflow first and then if we get time we'll talk about that um, flow designer so in this um, items so you can go to this uh, RITM you can go to this items and then um, you can see this is the item or else you can go to the maintain item and find out that item uh, before we go to this workflow we'll talk about the security who can be able to access this uh, catalog item <clears throat> In this catalog item, you can see that uh, you can open the catalog item and simply click the try it and you can be able to um, access that like you can be able to see this uh, catalog item like this view uh, instead of portal view you can just click the try it and you will be able to access that in this service catalog view. Okay, so now um, we will talk about that who can be able to actually access this one. Okay. So we have a call user criteria and this user criteria you can see uh, right now is the available for and the available not available for these two section we have. So here you can uh, define some um, uh, user criteria based on the user criteria those people will be only be able to access the service catalog except those people except those um, um, those peoples they won't be able to access this service catalog for that we have to be defined one user criteria we have to create the user criteria here and then under the user criteria you have to create that user criteria who should be able to access okay so i can create like um, all itl or any user you can see there are many user criteria i'll quickly create one simple one so that um i can show you so I can mention that all ITIL user can be able to access that, right? All ITIL user can access. And here I can put that role that to which role I am looking for. Okay. So I'm going to put that ITL. And if you want to put some specific team member, you can put that. I put that my name. And also, um, uh, there are companies, location, department, whatever you are looking for, you can put that. And if you select the match all, so it will be um, <coughs> each condition have to be matched for all user. Like the user, if I select the user, the user who have um, the system admin and ITL, both the condition matches, then only it will be done true if you select the match true, match all. And there are advanced condition where you can write that script. I'll just click that and then show you. So if you uh, uh, click the advanced, it will show the advanced criteria where you can mention some script. Okay. So simply oh, we just create the user criteria and submit that. And then go to this available for and click the edit and then add that to whom it should be accessible so this catalog item should be accessible okay you can put that and save that so now this item catalog item will be only be accessible who have that itl user the those person does not have itl user they won't be able to access this catalog item okay it's unclear right now we'll go to that simply uh, discuss about the workflow how we can define the workflow for this catalog item so for workflow we have to type the workflow editor and go to the workflow editor and define a workflow i am going to here click a new workflow you can click here or else you can click here both the options are available 
and once you click that you should be define that for which table you are going to define that so we are going to select that is CREQ item and then um, we can mention that group access here um, we have a uh, stage um, workflow driven and compute and just simply submit that we don't have to um, change anything just submit that so once we submit that it will generate a workflow canvas where we can be drag and drops multiple activities which is out of box activities you can definitely create the own activities but these are the core activities out of box activity you can drag and get the benefits of that okay so first we are going to uh, suppose need a approval so we'll put a approval user and put in between that so you can see that the color is changed so it means that in between that it is going to drag and here we need that approval to whom so suppose my condition is that if I am um, mm, ordering so the item should be the approval should be taken from um, from my manager okay so let's put that one right on that uh, here manager approval I'm not putting any condition here I am going to put that under user I am putting that uh, I can put the direct user like by clicking that or else I can put that uh, from the request table like uh, request for and then the manager okay so it will going it is going to be requested for dot manager whoever is going to request um, I it should go to the approval for their manager okay so there are two condition night now if that manager is approved it should be go to the end or if is rejected it will also going to the end I can put I am just putting that condition right now I need a, another approval call um, additional approval there are one checkbox right so put that here and here um, we can put that script to um, put that additional approvals <clears throat> so copy that and paste here so I am declaring the answer equal to one uh, array and here I am going to push that user um, here current dot variables dot and we need this on this okay so this should be the additional um, approvals once we submit that so I can drag this to here, remove that and attach that. Okay. If it is rejected, it will be going to directly end or else if that is approved, we are going to, uh, there are many conditions. If you want to put if or it certain condition, you can put that. Um, there are a group approvals, approval coordinator generates uh, rollback. These options are available based on that criteria. You can hover over any of this activity and it will give you that um, definition of that one okay now um, I can put that uh, one um, task here like create task and there are <coughs> two tasks I'm going to attach that task create task and then uh, put that um, task short description 
and um, we are we can set that the any of this assignment group and um, here you can see that wait for completion so it will be wait until that workflow will be uh, wait until unless this task is closed so we are going to attach this one and finally that our workflow is end so this is the simple workflow we have defined here and then going to publish this workflow if you want to send some notification we can definitely uh, send also let's put the notification also so I'll simply check out and then uh, put the notification going to the notification and I'll attach that one here send notification if you want to write some script uh, you can click that um, um, advanced and you can set that to or else uh, I can simply uh, put that requester for whoever is going to request so I'll go here and then um, request for I'm going to send the mail subject we can put that um, request requested task has been completed and I can put the number here So you can see uh, this is the number it is generating I have to copy that and paste here so that's how number and you can mention anything uh, hi your request has been completed something like that so this will be the message body and the subject and then submit that and it will be notify the user so after completion of the task and then uh, I have to check out um, I have to publish that and in this catalog item I have to see in the uh, process automation I have to select that um, group access that um, workflow name and sub set so our catalog item is ready now uh, workflow we have attached that workflow basic workflow now if you if you will if you want to talk about more we can definitely talk uh, but right now I have not um, just simply showing that how the catalog item can be so I am going to put that uh, here is a request something like that uh, additional approvals here I'm putting that some user and then test and order now it should order the one request you can go to the request there are only one RITM and we can click the show workflow you can see that first approval is approved because that whoever is requested does not have any manager that's why that it's automatically skipped you can I can show here you can see that result is skipped under it showing okay so it, it means that whoever is requested for like a uh, system administrator does not have any manager that's why it's just a simply skipped so um, but the next approval is the additional approval is the Rohit Kumar is set it so Rohit Kumar have to be app approves first and then only it will be generate one task and then it will send a notification and close the process so let's approve that one and then it will be uh, once we approve that it will be simply approved and then it will be sent emails so it is approved and created task 
and I can uh, you can see that under that catalog task there will be um, one task which is assigned to that uh, application development team and the short description is the task or description that whatever we put that we just need to simply close that task after completion the actual works like um, we need to um, group addition right so service the group addition the pupils who have that assigned that like the task is assigned to application uh, development team right so they should manually go to that catalog task and assign them that groups and the close the task or else you can do the automation um, I'm not going to that part but um, once they close that the workflow will be go to the next step and send the notification and then the process will be end now if I go to the emails I should be able to see one emails regarding this uh, RITM you can see uh, whatever we have defined here in that our notification that email is going to send and that the process will be end here the request task has been completed that number so thank you very much have a great day if you have any question